Hi, I'm Teniola Shobowale. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for January the 11th, 2020. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board has suspended the compulsory use of the National Identification Number for its examination till 2021. The Registrar of JAM, Professor Ishak Oloyedi, says the decision to suspend the policy is to allow enough time for candidates to acquire the number. Registration for the 2020 JAM UTME is expected to commence on the 13th of January. To security, the former Vice President of the National Labour Congress, Mr. Issa Aremu, is asking governors of the South West to avoid decentralising the police through the back door with the launch of the South West Regional Security Initiative known as Amotekun. Mr. Aremu explains that the issue of security is on the exclusive list of the Constitution and that a short therapy is not the solution. The Delta State Government has signed an agreement with Labour on the new national minimum wage for workers in the state. According to the agreement, the implementation of the new minimum wage will commence immediately, with arrears to be paid from November 1, 2019. On the international scene, a commander of the Aerospace Force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, Amir Ali Ajizadeh, says he accepts responsibility for shooting down a Ukrainian plane minutes after takeoff. Speaking in a televised address, the commander claimed that the passenger jet had been misidentified as a cruise missile and had been shot down with a short-range missile that exploded near the plane. And in sports, Arsenal had goal scorer and captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang sent off by the video assistant referee as they were held at a 1-1 draw by Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. Arsenal took a 12-minute lead when Aubameyang finished off a fine 18-pass move with his 16th goal of the season in all competitions. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Teniola Shubo Thank you for watching.